Hello everyone, welcome again in Engman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will start learning about PipeSim network simulation. In PipeSim, we can perform well modeling and network modeling. So in this video, we will concentrate on the network modeling and network simulation. Okay, we will construct crude oil pipeline. Okay, so it will involve first source click source and put the source here. You can also see the inputs, either wells, sources, sinks, connections, junctions, equipment and fluid. Okay, first the source of course, and we will involve pump. So you can see here the equipment, choke, check valve, two phase separator, three phase separator, generic pump, multi-phase booster, heat exchanger, compressor, expander, and it is for generic equipment, multiplier, injection point, and so on and so forth. All right, we will use generic pump, click the pump and put it here. And we also need to install the sink. Okay, all right. So it will start from the source and it will end up in the sink. And we need to connect each of this section with flow line. You can see the connections here, either connector, flow line, and riser. And also we can perform nodal analysis for network simulation. Okay, we click the flow line and we connect the flow line from the source to the pump. All right, it has been connected from the source to the pump and also from the output of the pump to the sink. We click flow line and we connect the pump with the sink. All right, okay. So it has been connected. Now we need to input information inside each of this icon. We start from source. All right, the name source, it is active. And now we need to input the fluid model. As you can see, no global fluids available. So we need to add the fluid system, click new, template, none, okay. All right, so it is a new fluid system that we need to input. Let's say we want to do with black oil simulation. Okay, so it will be easy. Water cut, let's say our water cut is 2.5% with GOR of 500, standard cubic feet per stock tank barrel, gas specific gravity 0.64, and water specific gravity 102. Let's say the IPI gravity is 40 degree of API, and no contaminant. Okay. The name BO fluid, it's okay. And then close, all right. The fluid model has been inputted inside the system. Okay, now we need to define the boundary conditions, either the pressure or the flow rate, okay? In this case, I want to input the pressure. So the pressure is 1000 PSIA with the temperature of 500 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, close. Now we need to input information inside the first flow line that connects the source to the pump. We open the flow line. Let's say we call it pump fit. All right, mode simple environment land and for the override global environment data yes we check it inside diameter 2.981 with wall thickness of 0 0.322 roughness of 0 0.0018 no undulation so let's assume it's purely horizontal with horizontal distance of 124 feet 
elevation difference zero, right? So it, it will be horizontal line. Flow line starts at, of course, from the source. Let's say I'm being temperature of 45 degrees Fahrenheit. U value type, we select insulated. All right, you can also select bare, coated, user supplied. In this case, we select insulated. Okay, with heat transfer coefficient of 0 0.2. And inside film coefficient include. All right, you can see here the plot elevation versus horizontal distance. So it will be purely horizontal. You can also see the table by clicking this icon. All right, close. Okay, now we input the data inside the pump. The name, let's call it pump. It is active. Okay, use curves, in this case, no. And discharge pressure, it will be calculated. Pressure differential, it will be calculated. Let's say we want to input the power, 120 horsepower. Route, we select Molier with efficiency of 70%. Okay. You can also input discharge pressure, differential, or pressure ratio. But in this case, we prefer to input the power. Okay close and we continue to input data inside this flow line let's call it trunk line okay simple land override with inside diameter of 6.065 wall thickness of 0.28 and roughness of 0 0.0018 inch and no undulation, zero undulation. With horizontal distance, it will be long, 64944, okay. Zero elevation distance, flow line starts at, of course, from the pump to the sink. You can also see the plot here and also the table. All right, land heat transfer data, again, temperature, ambient temperature, 45, insulated, 0 0.2, heat transfer coefficient, and include inside film coefficient. All right, so far so good, we can close. And lastly, we input data for the sink. At the sink, we call it sink, active, and let's say for the boundary condition, at sink, we set the pressure to be 325 PSIA at the downstream side. Close. All right. Now you can see we are validated. So we can perform simulation.